Hey guys, as you can see, I'm in our homeschool room and I wanted to show y'all how I have set up my kindergartner's um, work box system is what I call it. And this is just a system of how we go about her schoolwork and how she gets things done. And it kind of helps her to become more of an independent, um, doing her own thing, getting out her own paper, her own books, and um, working more. I'm trying to teach her to work more independently. So I have set up this system it's been working really well for us and i wanted to share it with you guys so stay tuned all right so this is the setup this is the workbox system right here and i got these tupperware drawers from what target or somewhere like that they have them everywhere and this is what i use i had these at the house so i decided to use them for that and um this is the a little corner of our room and this is where her table is. This is usually where she works and does sit down work and stuff. So um, she knows the routine. She knows the deal. She'll come over here and she will um, open box number one. Box number one is what we start our day off with after we do our calendar and stuff. We start it with Bible. And this has a Bible verse on it and in it. And the Bible verse that we get from here is the same Bible verse that I put up on our chalkboard and that she does her copy work with. So we will go over the Bible verse and read the little story and thing that goes with it. Also, um, it has her calendar in here. We do calendar. I have a calendar on the wall. And that's when we sing our Days of the Week song and stuff. And that's what I do with other kids. But I also got this calendar at um, the Dollar Tree. And it's princesses. And so she will find the day that we're on and then she will copy the number. So this helps her to um, see what day of the week it is, see the number, and it reiterates all of that. And then she also gets to practice writing. So she likes to do that. And that is what she starts off with. Now when she finishes, she puts everything back in here, takes off number the number, they're Velcro. I got Velcro strips and I put them on there and then she comes over to the table where I have numbers one through six and the, the other part of the Velcro and she will stick it, when she's finished, she sticks it on. And then she keeps going. And this one, number two, I have math. So I always have that in number one, I always have math in number two. We start off, after Bible we do math because um, it's not her favorite and so I figure the sooner we get it over with, when she's most alert and ready to do school stuff, the better. So we're talking about graphs. We're learning about graphs and coins and money and stuff. So that's in number two. And then same thing. She takes number two off and puts it on the two over here. Okay, box number three is reading. And I have these Bob books that she loves to read. And so I let her pick one or two to read of that. And then we start on our lessons. We're doing um, teach your child to read in 100 easy lessons. And then when we're finished, she puts it back and does the same thing. And I try to um, break it up. Like when we start, we start with Bible. And then we do one of her least favorites. And then we do a, one that she likes. And then over here, we have writing, which is not her favorite. <laughs> but like, um, like I said, she does copy work for the most part. So I wrote the verse that we're working on for this week. Your word is like a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. I write it with a dry erase marker on this board, which I got from the Dollar Tree as well. And then she will use the lined paper and she will copy. And this is helping her with her handwriting. And so when she's done, she puts it back and does the same thing with the Velcro number and puts it back. And then box number five, I switched this up from geography or history or something that she's interested in i will have activities out for her so right now we're learning the seven continents and so i have this seven continent game that we're playing right now and so this box is different it switches between geography some history stuff or interest-led stuff or like it was valentine's day so i had valentine's day activities in there so that's box number five and so when she's finished she will do the same thing 
And then the last box, box number six, I try to put something fun in here, something that she really enjoys. So she looks forward to going, keep continuing going through the boxes and getting to box number six. So today for box number six, I have this cutting activity. Um, and it's an activity where she's going to cut, practice her cutting skills to make a pizza. So she would cut out the pizza and then she would cut out the pan and she would cut out the topics, which pepperoni and whatever is on there. And she can glue it together and have fun and it's like an art activity and she loves doing those things. And so that's box number six. That's the last box. And so when she's finished, same thing. And then she's done. And then every night, I will, sorry focus it every night I will come and switch out the activities and put the numbers back and this just really helps the flow go about it helps her be able to go and get the things that she needs now she does need help on some of them which is fine because I have made it to where like um it the help the ones that she needs help are spaced out so I have time to you know do whatever I need to do before I need to come and hurry and help her. And then the box up here are books that I am reading out loud to the kids, um, books that we got from the library, things like that. So that's what that is. And y'all, this has really been helpful and it's really helped us out. It really is something that we enjoy. And I think I'm gonna continue implementing this system. I hope this you got some ideas and I'll talk to you later.